Yeah, I want to talk about this email client situation we're in. I went through most of these and tested them, and I'm just going to give you my my opinion on it. Um, this is I went through this one. Everything goes smooth till you get to the to the outgoing SMTP. I tried this. This works fine. This works great from the uh, shell, from the command shell. Try this. You have to pay for it to get anything worthwhile. I did not try this one. Did not try this one. I mainly tried the free ones. Uh, this one I tried a while back, and I might try that one again. But this one I think you had to pay for. Elm. Really, the only one that I really had any um, mud, it works. Uh, this one I think you have to end up paying for. A lot of these, okay, now you got round, the two top ones are round cube and squirrel mail when it comes to web mail. And uh, they act like they load. They act like they're going to load fine, but then you run into some problems. Other people seem to be fine with it. The best, the best thing that I've used is uh, Mozilla Firefox, and that's really it does it does everything you need. It's it's pretty much an easy setup. I'm just giving you an overview of what I think. I think I'll use this channel for uh, product evaluation or just stuff that I've come across. So email client overview. Out of all these, I even tried the bat. This one here, I think this is a good one. S-Y-L-P-H-E-E-D. And some people think round cube and um, squirrel mail work fine for them, but oh, Opera Mail. If you don't want to use Mozilla Thunderbird, Opera Mail is great. It really is. Opera Mail is great. It just you download it and then you throw in a few parameters and you're done. Now, when it comes to email servers, now this is the client you've got the client the transfer agent the server I want to talk about that for a second while I got some time these are clients let's scroll down here and look at some of the servers the ones that I had that I'll be honest with you XM4 is the best it really is Let's see if I can see a link to servers. I'll just yeah, comparison of the mail servers. Okay, check this out. I haven't tried this one. I looked at their website. I tried to download it as a uh, client. A little problem. Dovecot is Dovecot works with uh, Postfix and XM. XM the best documentation for XM is X just type in uh, Debian XM4 Dovecot and Debian Debian work perfect together let's go down here postfix a lot of people say po that postfix and Debian and uh, Dovecot work good together but it does seem to work but when you're trying to use a client you have a problem now a lot of people don't know this but you really don't need when it comes to a client webmin here you can send and receive email on webmin just like you could a client just like you could any other uh, webmail client this thing you set up webmin you you can send and receive email like crazy easy it's that's the really that's the easiest webmail client problem is if you want to set up users you, it's a little more difficult 
So, authentication. Here's a here here's the here's the here's a problem. This authentication. This is I didn't know this this list was here. This is good to see. Okay. Dovecot, not an SMTP server, but also offers SASL to MTAs. <coughs> but see, <coughs> XM. I don't know why they don't have XM4 here. XM4. I'll be honest with you. This this is mail transfer agent. I believe XM4 is the best. A lot of people like um, Postfix, SendMail, QMail, but for what I've seen, security-wise and easiest. The easiest setup, XM4 is the way to go. XM and the number 4 behind that. With Dovecot and uh, let's see what else we got. I don't know what. I've never tried uh, NetMail. We'll see what this is. Okay, it's no veil. But so anyway, I would have to say if you were gonna um, really get into this, this is for the new people. XM4. If you go to XM.org, this is the website. Version is 4.8. Two dash dot one, and uh, when you download it, um, I did not use. I, really, you don't even need to go to this website because most of your servers will do an automatic load on this thing. If you just type in Debian XM4. You really, um, you really get the best. Let me pull that up for you because I want to show you the. I want to show you guys the uh, the best instructional document for this. Let's see if I can find it real quick. I had to go through a few of these, but you follow this and you've got it. When I'm what I'm getting ready, here it is right here. This is the website, wikidebian.org.xm. I mean slash xm forward slash xm. This documentation right here is all you need. W I K I dot Debian dot org X E X I M. Let's see, was it, did I bring that down in the screen there? Yeah. Okay. The biggest thing on this is um let me show you the the, the authentication. Really you have to follow this thing to a T and you test it as you're going through um What you get, though, you'll have an option when you do the install script to whether to set it up in the M A I L directory or the capital M A I L R. You want to use the capital M A I L R. That will make your life easy. And um, that's it. You follow this, and you got an email server going. If you set you up a Debian server, you download XM4, follow this, you'll have an email server in an hour. <laughs>